Bring him before us, then. Now, Dead Presidents, film, 1995, directed by the Hughes brothers, if you've never heard of them. They're pretty underrated, though, what they did. I think they also did Men's Institute of Society with the same actor, uh, Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate, he's a pretty good ra actor. I almost said rapper. He was a pretty good actor, but pretty underrated because you don't see him do much now. Well, I remember one thing he was in. It was, it was like Girls Trip, you know, those four women, four black women. He was in that film. He had like a small role, though. Like, ever since... He hadn't been big since the 90s. Because I don't remember him being anything like big in the 2000s, like a main role in the 2000s. He was like a, a small roles. After like the 90s, you, get, like, you always get like small roles afterwards. You don't get like big roles anymore. So I don't know what the hell happened to him. He's a pretty good actor. Somehow everyone else get more roles than him. Chris Tucker, Bokeem Woodbine, Freddy Rodriguez, Keith David. They, they get way more roles than him. Somehow he only barely get anything. No one, no one ever calls Lorenz Tate for a fucking role. They'd be like, oh, who's Lorenz Tate? I never heard that black guy before. Oh, I know Chris Tucker. Let's get him for sure to do something. You know, even Chris Tucker, he don't really do that much either anymore. He kind of fade away after what, that small role film he was in, Silver Lines Playbook or something. I don't know why the fuck he did that. He probably was desperate for money. Because he didn't do anything since Rush Hour 3, and all of a sudden he did that film. He's like, eh, fuck it. I'll do that shit. So he d did that shit, and I haven't seen nothing big after that. That was it. Freddy Rodriguez, I've seen him somewhere before. I forgot what movie I saw him before, our thing is, but he's pretty good too in this film. Eh, he was pretty good. Bokey Woodbine, he still gets like a lot of roles. He still gets like a lot of fucking roles. Dave Chappelle's evil twin brother. He still gets like a lot of evil. Not evil. <laughs> a lot of roles. He gets like a lot of fucking roles still. Like he was in that shitty Spider Man movie. He was like. He was. Shocker or some shit. He was in that. Whole bunch of other shit. He still, he still does like a lot of shit still. It's crazy. Him. Keith David. Those like the two. Like that's like the most shit from that movie. Still to this day. Like I said. Everyone was like fade away. Lawrence Tate fade away before Chris Tucker faded away. They just everyone just forgot about these actors. They're like, oh, who the fuck are they? You know, we got like better people to cast in here besides those those few fucking people. So that's basically what happened. Yeah, I forgot about uh, Terrence Howard, Clifton Powell, um, Sticky Fingers is in here. Sticky Fingers, he was in here. I think he gets killed off. If I remembered, I think he's like in the war. He gets killed off or some shit. He he was gonna get like small roles and shit. That's what he mostly does. I don't remember him doing like a main role. Yeah, Terrence Howard was just this douchebag at the at the pool place, I guess. And he always been like a dickhead to uh Lawrence Lorenz Tate and, and like being a dickhead to him. The second time happened after like the the war, he started like beating the shit out of him. Talking shit to him. It was like he like he had enough. Like he does like enough shit already in his life. He gotta deal with that too. Fuck that, you know. He had to, like get rid of his ass and beat him up. And Keith did have to break it up and shit. Basically, what happened there? I forgot who Clifton Powell is in the movie. I forgot. I forgot who the fuck he is. Yeah, Terrence Howard's. He still gets like a lot of roles too. He always plays like a douchebag character. He always plays like an asshole. That's, that's most characters. He's like he's like assholes. Hell, I mean, he's like that in real life. I mean, he's like a douchebag in real life, too. Who knows? He looks, he looks like he's a douche in real life. But, I mean, he plays, he plays a good asshole, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that one thing right there. So, yeah, the movie's about uh, Dead Presidents. It's about, uh, you know, Lorenz Tate. He graduates from high school. He doesn't know what to do with his life, so he decides to go in the army. And like his family didn't really like that, but he's, he did it. He comes back afterwards and he meets his friends after they came out of the army and shit. And he had enough of his, his annoying wife with his kid and stuff. He decides like, you know what? I'm gonna go rob a bank. So that's what happened. He, he robs up all his buddies, and we'll get all his army buddy in there and stuff. Then they decide to rob a bank. And that's like the whole movie basically. First off, 
first time I like watched it, I was like, eh, it's not really for me. Then all of a sudden, like later on, the movies started to grow on me more and more. And movies started growing on me. Like, no, this movie's pretty good. I always get, I get that feeling like later on after I watch the movie, I'd be like, it's okay. And all of a sudden, I think it's great. It just happens. It's just out of nowhere. It's poof right there. I think it's a great fucking movie. You know, I'm, my, my mind just changed my mind like later on. The thing is, I'll never change my mind about the Star Wars movies. I'll tell you that. Fuck the Star Wars movies. I'm talking about the sequels. Not the prequels or the originals. I'm talking about the sequels. Those shit was trash. And, yeah, I'm going to do some spoilers in here. So, you haven't seen this movie, don't fucking listen to my spoilers, alright? So, uh, I guess... After all that bullshit, like, one gets killed off. Like, Freddy Rodriguez gets killed by, like, one of the cops or some shit. And, like, fucking Lorenz Tate's girl gets killed. The one who did the, uh... Oh, the, the fucking... I forgot what it's called. The Black Panther Party shit or something, whatever it is. She gets murdered from in the, the robbery. And a whole bunch of other shit started happening. All of a sudden, uh, the cops busted them and arrested everybody. Except Chris Tucker. He had died, like, an overdose in the movie or some shit. He took too much, like, heroin. And that shit would, like, really fuck you up, I'll tell you that. He might be too, like, Jesse Pinkman in uh, Breaking Bad. He lived by the, except for his girlfriend, because, um, fuck her, right? Because she's, uh, she, she's trash. I, I don't know why Jesse got so hooked up with that chick in Breaking Bad. I don't know why, but fuck it. Yeah, they all get arrested, and all of a sudden, Martin Sheen makes an appearance as a, as a judge. I was like, what the fuck, Martin Sheen, what are you doing here? All of a sudden, he's like a judge in this movie. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. He's like, he had like this small role in here, playing like a judge. And like, Lorenz take flips out because the judge, uh, Sheen, sends his ass to prison. So he like he throws a chair at him. I thought, I thought that shit was awesome. Like, he's like, fuck the judge. He like, throws a chair at him. I thought that was awesome. That shit was pretty fucking funny. Awesome, same time. I thought it was pretty cool. And I, I was glad. I was glad he, he lived because I, I don't want him to die like like the other movie, Menace to Society. He gets killed off in that film. I think he did. I forgot. I think he did get killed in that film. And I didn't like it. He's like, you know what? Fuck this movie. I, I like Lorenz taking killed off. Here, he just he just goes to prison. That's it. He got to serve his life sentence. That's it. Who knows? Maybe he gets killed in prison. Who knows? But it's better than getting killed off. I'll tell you that. I, I just, I just, some of these I don't like characters getting killed off. It's just... It just ruins the chemistry for me. Well, they mean the the chemistry of the characters and stuff like that, you know. It just ruins it for me. And like, Moki Woodbine, like in the army, he was like crazy as hell, and all of a sudden he turns like this dorky preacher and shit. He want to be like preaching to God and all that. You know, I I, I respect that, you know. But sometimes you gotta do something for money, you know. You gotta get that fucking uh, the fucking dough. Get all that dough in your hand. Make a pizza out of that shit, you know? That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, like I said, you know, it's a good movie. I, I just got the copy to, uh, today. I got the, the DVD copy. It sucks they didn't make a Blu-ray out of it yet. You know, that's, that's, that's fucking sucks. I don't know why they didn't make a Blu-ray out of that movie yet. And I never seen it on TV at all. They barely show it on TV or anything. But it says it's like you can watch that shit on Hulu or something. If I remembered, it says like you watch free and I mean, well, you gotta pay for Hulu for like every each month, but it's on there. You want to watch watch Dead Presidents, but still, it's weird. Like no Blu-ray of this movie. How you don't have a Blu-ray for Dead Presidents? I find that pretty odd. Just just DVD. That's a VCR and not VCR. You know what I'm talking about. You know those fucking what do you call it? Let me just call it VCR. Fuck it. That's all they have. There's, there's no Blu-ray. That's it's like fucking weird. It should be a Blu-ray for that movie. I don't know why I didn't do it yet. Here, let's see. Freddy Rodriguez. So he did shit like Bull. What the hell is shows Bull? What the fuck is a Bull? Red Bull? What the fuck is this show? I never heard this in my life. So he played like one of the, uh, the big characters in this. I think it's something to do with court stuff. I think. Yeah, lawyers. I think I saw his face in here one time. I think, if I remembered. They did a show called Six Feet Under. I never heard that before. What the fuck? It was Six Feet Under. What the fuck is that? Let's see here. Um, let's see. Let's see. 
Oh, six feet under 8.7 out of 10. Holy shit. Is it that good? Five seasons. Laced with irony and dark, sensational humor. So approved as a subject of death through the eyes of the Fisher family who owns operates a funeral home. What the hell is that shit about? Michael C. Hall? Isn't that a guy from those 80s films or something? He did a movie, did movie like Planet Terror. Oh, God. Robert Rodriguez. Ugh, fucking hate. I hate that director. He's, he's never cool. I never like any of his movies. And it's also a show called Ugly Betty. Not I know I know that fucking show. I, I, I remember that show. I think I watched like some episodes of that or something. And uh, the, the chick's pretty hot in real life, I'll tell you that. The one play Ugly Betty. Oh, she ain't ugly, alright. She ain't ugly. She's pretty hot. She called her Hot Betty. I'll tell you that. But that, I guess that's the shit he does. After the, the dead president. That's all the shit he does. It's pretty decent stuff. He kind of he kind of looks like uh what's his name uh the guy from uh the professional uh Gary something Gary well, uh, Gary Oldman he looked look just like he looked like a younger Gary Oldman that, that's what he looks like a younger Gary Oldman like like if they did like a remake of the professional they, they can like use him to be uh Gary Oldman's character everyone. Like that should be like great, even though uh, that'd be stupid to make a remake of that. Unless it's like they make like, a sequel with Natalie Portman or something like that. She's like all grown up and some shit, and she does like hitman shit like Leon used to do it before he died. That'd be great, but like no remakes. Remakes are terrible. So don't, don't do that. It's like there's a remake come out of this movie. It's called Cherry with Tom Holland. Which I'm gonna look into once it comes out. I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna give a review on that movie. And I'm gonna tell you why I thought think about it. So yeah. But like I said, this movie is pretty good. You know, go check it out. It's it's pretty good fucking film. You know, like I said, the first time I watched it, I couldn't get into it. Second time I thought it was pretty good. So I just my mood just changes later on.